Hey guys, Andy Powers here, the Texas Pitching Institute right here in El Paso. And today we're going to talk about the what I call the middle mass, the center of, the, of your body from your belly button to your upper leg, the critical role that it plays in throwing a baseball and how it can either make you or break you. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so let's talk about our middle mass right here from the belly button to the upper leg. The reason why this is so important to us and the way we throw is because basically when it comes to throwing a baseball, there's three uh, sections, if you will, that your body is broken up into. There's your lower half, your middle half, and your upper half. And everything that you do when you're throwing a baseball starts down in the lower half first. And whatever you generate and create, it transfers up all the way through what we call a kinetic chain and then eventually goes in through your shoulder to the elbow to the hand and out into the baseball. Now the critical part is right here and this is the part that so many guys are not very good at, not very strong at, not very efficient at. And here's why. You've got your big powerful muscles down low. If you do a fantastic job down getting energy, getting momentum and everything created, then when that energy starts to transfer up that kinetic chain, it's got to go through this part right here. Well, if this is not very good, instead of creating more energy to what's already been added uh, and created, and uh, it becomes more of a dam. It blocks whatever you just did from the waist down. And that is not a good thing because they still want to throw the baseball. And what that means now is that I have to create that energy all over again. But this time it's starting from the waist up, which puts a whole lot more stress and burden on your shoulder, on your elbow and or both. And eventually that's going to wear down faster and it's going to possibly lead you to having a problem that you don't want to deal with. So this part of you is extremely important. Now, how do we get this piece involved? Well, I'm going to show you this one quick drill that we do here at Texas Pitching Institute and it's called middle movers. It's pretty simple but it helps to really uh, advance the feel of getting this middle activated and involved into your throw. Uh, you could look at probably uh, mostly every big leaguer at least if not every minor leaguer and college guy and, and guys that are doing this uh, pretty well and what you'll notice is that all of them for the most part as they're going forward to throw this part of their body is in charge. It's leading the way. Okay. I promise you that when this is leading the way, the rest of your body will follow. If your shoulders are leading the way, this doesn't have to necessarily come along for the ride. And that's not a good thing to have. So we want to really focus here. So the middle movers drill is we basically get our feet maybe about shoulder width apart. The closer your feet are together, actually, the easier it is to do this drill. Uh, and, and that's in a beneficial way. Uh, so but we, we're going to have our feet and we're going to have maybe shoulder width apart and you're going to slightly turn them in a little pigeon toed. And when you do that, especially with your back leg, you're going to have your your knee inside your foot. That's the that's the, the feeling that we want to have uh, as we we're starting this drill. Now, as you can see, I'm stacked directly over top. My upper body is over my middle, which is over my lower half. Before you start this drill, you're going to get in this position and then you're just going to slightly project your midsection just forward just a little bit, maybe three inches. But this, this is now leading the way. You're going to feel, you might even feel just a slight stretch on the outer part of your hip right here. Uh, and, and that's okay. We don't want to go too far though. That, that's not going to be to really beneficial for this drill, but just slightly forward. And then from here, it's totally up to you what you want to do. I would recommend if this is new to you and you're really trying to focus on the concept that you would break down everything simplified and maybe already have your things you know preset with your arms uh, so that you don't have to worry about the separation and all that but regardless of what you do you just start right here and then you're just going to pick this foot up and this is going to continue to lead you're going to get down into this back leg uh, a little bit more as you go forward. And that's going to guarantee that your midsection right there is going to be leading the way. And then you just go ahead and make the throw. Of course, you don't have to. You can do what I just did right there and just go this far just so you can feel the drill. But start with that and then you can expand off it from there. But that definitely starts to put the emphasis right here on this part of the body, which is incredibly important to what we do when we're throwing a baseball. Okay. Hey, if you found this video to be helpful for you, make sure you register for my page. Everybody that's part of my page is going to get videos like this first before I release it to the general public. So make sure that you get then uh, registered with that. And then I'll see you down the road.